What's up, DTube, DLive, YouTube, wherever I end up posting this. Brian Phobos here. Let's talk about this crypto market. It is crushing pressure. It doesn't matter how much you have in crypto. For someone to say, oh, just, you know, just hodl and, you know, forget it. And don't look at it, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, and no matter how what level you're at, even if you had a thousand or two thousand dollars in the market, or if you had ten thousand or if you had a hundred thousand, um, you know, and you see like a very large percentage of it erode away, it is not fun. We don't know where the top is, we never know where the bottom is, and so feels a lot like 2014. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Um, there was good news coming out in 2014, different deals, different partnerships, that kind of stuff good things on the horizon it just kept going down it just kept getting pressed 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 people out and then january 5th of 2015 hit like 176 dollars and it was just like whew. and then 2015 was just a nuclear winter so i really hope that we don't have that situation to where you know we get pressed 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 and then 2019 is like 2015 It'd be terrible I kind of feel like we won't have that, but it did go so high. I mean, a lot of us were thinking, man, you know, if Bitcoin might go to 10,000, you know, this is like you know, back in August, September time frame. like, man, it might, it might go to 10. And then it went to 20. It was like, whoa. So it blew our minds, even us that had been around for a while. And I did a video after Mt. Gox trustee had really collapsed the price. I did a video on February 12th of my thoughts of the market and I said that the last two crashes we've hit a lower low. So we had the $5,900 and I've seen different things. Coinbase was basically saying we did hit a lower low just now uh, because it went to like 59.67 or something like that and then it went to like 59.37 now. Um, so I'm gonna have to look at the data a little more um, to really see that we hit technically a lower low. Um, but in the last two crashes, March of 2013, and then the December 2013 high, both of those, we ended up hitting lower lows. And if you go back to the 2011 one, like it hit a lower low too. Um, so that's been traditional. I don't know if it'll stick with tradition. You know, there's a lot of eyes on this, a lot of big money. There's even a Chinese guy that put in like $100 million into Bitcoin um, here recently. So... You hear this different news and you think, okay, can we be saved? Can institutional money, you know, hedge funds, like, you know, other retail investors, can, can we be saved from it? One of the issues becomes because of the parabolic phase and the excitement and the euphoria that people overextend themselves. Um, a lot of people would look at the amount that I have in crypto and say you overextended yourself percentage wise compared to your other assets. Um, it's hard not to. It's hard not to because we see the future, we see the promise of this. Um, so it's it's hard not to try to commit more capital to it. Um, you know, and then it's like when you're getting pressed, 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 unless you're a man baby with no bills, um, it's it, you're you're gonna eventually potentially get pressed out. Um, so it is very hard. And then you think like, well, at what point? It's easy to say, oh man, I should have sold, I should have sold, you know, but it's like, I know from being in this, I mean, I've never sold any of my EOS and, um, you know, it spiked up 22, 24 bucks and I had to make that decision and say, no, I'm not selling any of this. And then, you know, it was down around the 12 buck mark and it's like, you know what, that's the decision I made. That's what happened. And then now the whole market's getting pressed. And so whatever, we're on like eight bucks and it doesn't feel good doesn't feel good for any of us You're, you know you might think for a second man, i should have sold i should have sold or if i would have only did this but just able to tell yourself well you didn't you didn't do that you made the decision you have to go forward with it and i'm um, trying not to panic keep trying to earn guys you're getting a lot of airdrops coming in from eos you're getting a lot of you know other potential airdrops keep your keep your eyes peeled for those and um keep trying to earn on these blockchains like steam Ono's coming out the 25th, um, their international version. We'll see if we can earn from that. Keep looking. Keep looking at ways to earn. Um, you know, some stuff, some stuff, you know, hasn't come to fruition. And if you ran an ICO or you're someone who ran an ICO, get fucking something done. Seriously. It's an embarrassment 
some of these ICOs that raise tens of millions of dollars or just even millions of dollars, like $2 million, $5 million. And I see some of these projects and you can get dick shit done. You're an embarrassment. Get something done. Anyway, for everybody out there, we're all feeling the pain. It doesn't matter how long we've been in. We're feeling the pain, but this feels a lot like 2014. And I don't know which way it's going to go. We're like on a teeter-totter right now. It could stabilize, it could stabilize, and big money could save us. Or it just burst open. And who knows, goes down to 3,000, 2,000, who knows. Who knows, but whatever, if it goes down, it ain't going to feel good. Because I can tell you now, I even powered down some steam, had some liquid steam in my account. I was going to pay some bills, do some different things, waiting for kind of like a, you know, some support in the market and stuff. And then this thing just tore wide open, you know, and I was sitting there with it at even $2.50. And it was like, oh, wait till it gets up to three, just tore open. And now it's worth like a buck 25 or something, you know, for each steam. So I was sitting there holding it, <laughs> hold your bags if you can, but I understand if you get pressed because it hurts hurts guys stick in there keep trying to earn keep trying to earn see you guys